Hey everybody and welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. You're watching Laravel 5.5 new features and we are getting to the end of the series on video number 13. And what I wanna show you guys now is how to view mail you can actually view mailables inside the browser. So this is a common feature that I know a lot of people have requested. I hear this all the time. People are, you're testing out your emails, you wanna make sure the email renders right, but you're constantly sending things to emails to, uh, you know, places like MailTrap or whatever. And sometimes you'll even set up a route like slash mail and inside there you'll just have a closure that just sends off an email so that you can test that email, make sure it looks right before you even worry about getting the email in the right place. So being able to view the web, view actually create a route where you can just view the email in the browser is kind of a cool feature. And that's what I wanna show you guys because that's now available in Laravel 5.5. So just to get started, I have created a basic email for you guys called top posts, top blog post kind of idea. So here it's a basic email. I just ran the terminal command, PHP artisan make mail to run, to create this email. So we create this email here. You can see this is a markdown email. It goes to mail.top posts inside of our uh, resources views mail. We have top post .php. pretty basic. Okay. So we just create a markdown email. Now I should mention you don't need to be using Markdown emails. You can put any email you want into these view files um, and still be able to view it in the browser like I'm about to show you. I'm only using Markdown email just because it's the easiest to create and it's really easy for demonstrating purposes. It's really easy to read the code um, like you see here on the screen. But this will work with any email. So if you do a traditional um, email design and you throw that in here, you can still view it in the browser like I'm about to show you. Now let's say we want to know what this looks like. And we it's we don't it's just kind of hard to know what it looks like without sending off the email. And sometimes this email, let's say like in this example, this email would go off say once a week. And so this is actually gonna be triggered by an event or um, so once a week, an a job will, will run that will basically send this email off to all of my subscribers, okay? Just as an example. And then it outlines basically the top blog posts of the week. So it's really hard to test that when we're testing it in local mode because it, it gets triggered by an event, right? It only happens once a week. It's, it's kind of really hard to test this email, make sure it looks good and send it off. And so being able to take a look at it in the browser would be really handy. And it really is that easy. So we've set up the email here. So we've got the email like that. And then we've got the email set up under mail top post.php. Now we want to take a look at it in the browser, make sure it looks good before we actually set it up in the event. So to do that, we're going to actually create a route. Um, we're going to go to our routes file and we're going to create a route that allows us to do exactly this. So we're going to just do uh, the route as a get request. So we'll do route get, and then we'll just give it a URL. So we'll just say mail in this case, this will just be a, uh, a temporary, uh, route anyway we're not going to like keep this in here and then we're going to create a closure so we just have the anonymous function that's okay because this is just temporary this is just for demonstrating uh like in local environments and then we'd get rid of this before we put it to production this is just to see it in the browser though so to view it now all we're going to do is just say return and then we're going to use our app slash mail slash um top posts i believe yeah top posts top post.php and then um, if we wanted to pass information in we could we don't need to in this case so that's all we're going to do and that's it so that's all it takes to send this email so we just created a route just a basic get route but we can just return it and just use the mail class and it will simply return the view and then that's actually viewable in the browser so that's pretty easy now let's take a look at this so we're going to go to our browser we're going to go to laravel dev and then we're going to go slash mail and there it is, that's our email. So it's now viewable in the browser. This is what it would look like. You'd probably wanna kind of see what it would look like on mobile or something like that. But there we go. That's our markdown email rendered to us. We can now make sure this looks good. If we wanted to make some tweaks, we can make some tweaks. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just go to our uh, mail. Let's add some more posts. And now that we've added twice as many posts, let's go over here and we're just gonna refresh and it instantly takes effect. So you have access to your mail. You can now view the mail in the browser and it's just, it's so easy. All you gotta do is just do this. You create a route and then inside of a closure, just return 
the actual male class, okay? So the you're just looking for the route to this male class that you created. And that's it, now you can view your mail in the browser. Pretty sweet. All right, so that basically sums up this video. I'll see you guys in the last video of the series.